and welcome to Creativity Corner TV. We're your hosts, Dom on Wealth. I'm Deborah. And we're here doing another Universal Yum Box. Yay! So we're a little behind, so we're doing September's uh, Yum Yum Box opening here in October. Yes. But that's okay because October is the perfect time for extra snackies, right? So. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to uh, share out this real quick just so people uh, who don't know know. And uh, for the time being, just enjoy the music right now. You got some bag of tricks cats in the background. I'll chat. I'll chat because I only share it one place. Um, so I'm back to tasting this month after four months of not tasting. So super excited about that. Also, I want to show off my Warrior Goddess t-shirts. Um, you can get these at DonMonLowPresents.shop. It's a new line, the Goddess Collection. Super excited about it. It's fantastic. Just love it. Um, and, yeah, I get to taste tonight. I'm not just going to blindfold Don Manuel and stick food in his mouth. I'm going to eat it, too. So wicked excited about that. And today's clue is a place where the hills are alive. So I'm thinking that's the sound of music. And where the sound of music was set, which was Austria? I think, I think it was Austria. Um, so we'll we'll know in just a couple minutes when Don Mama finishes up. But um yeah, I'm really excited about this. And the other thing I want to say is that we will be doing October's Yum Yum box Thursday. So next week on Thursday, which is Halloween or no, I lied. Wednesday. We're doing it Wednesday on October thirty first. Halloween Eve, and we're also going to be drinking a $150 bottle of red wine with it, um, which is part of my last 40 days of my 40s celebration. So yeah, yeah. Um, it'll be one of the last things that I do, and so we are going to um, get a little tipsy on a bottle of red wine while we do our Yum Yum Box next Wednesday, the, um, the 30th, so I'm looking forward to it as well. Yes. Are you ready? So what's in the box? What's in the box? Let's see what's in the okay, box. Okay, so a place where the hills are alive. Yay, go team. Austria. Boom. Yeah. All right, so we'll save this because this is our um, best worst, um, second best and weirdest. So, you know, we vote for those at the All end right. once we're done tasting. Let me start. Just, we actually I know. We did that the first time when we were all, like, motivated and stuff. But, um, I know. It's, all right. We're slow. Okay, so we have Austria. Um, so this Yum Yum box, when the um, super awesome mail carrier delivered it, left it out in the pouring rain. So it's a little damp. But, but the cool thing, just like in the stores, everything's all wrapped up. And but our book's a little... With all these goodies. Our book's a little sketch sketch, but we will... Um, okay, so uh, Austria's most famous citizen, Mozart. Right. Mozart. Mozart. Yeah. I was gonna go with the governor, but whatever. No, I know, right? Uh, no, Mozart, and um, so he only lived to be 35, so right. killing it already. But um, here we go. Where shall we start? Let's start with the. Uh, you know, I like to start with savory first. So, there you do. Um, so here we go. And uh, hi, Otto. I haven't seen you guys in so long. Um, hi, Nikki. All right, mini fritz, creamy mini onion. Mitts. So you want to open and I'll find them in the book? Yes. All right, so we got Kelly's original mini fritz, creamy onion. Right. Okay, so um, Austrians love breakfast so much they eat it twice. So they're hobbits, right? Breakfast, second breakfast. I just um, had breakfast. What are you right? About? You did, did. Um, Oh, so God. they had eat breakfast at 10 a.m. and then um, and then to use their freshly harvested potatoes, they eat second breakfast. So. Um, All right. So far, Austrians are sounding like my kind of people. Right. I tend to do second dinner, but sometimes yeah. dinner could be. Uh, so these really look breakfast. like the little fries, you know, the little fries that come in bags over here right. too. Fries. So, right, yeah, they that. do look like those. And they smell like. Mm -hmm. You eat it out. You ate it already, didn't you? All right. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like a French onion potato chip. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely delicious. Okay. I got what you want. Those are yum yum. You can't hide these. You can't hide them. You put them out here like <laughs> you're supposed to. All right. 
All right, Good let's stuff. go with the paprika chips. All right. So we got another Kelly's original. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing Kelly's is like their Lay's of right? potato chips. What it's looking like. Um, okay. Paprika, super popular spice in Austria, thanks to a, I can't even say his name. Um I don't know why I'm looking like I'm I know, right? able to help there. He grew his own red peppers. He dried them and he processed them into his secret spicy sweet blend. Like paprika chips. Right? And then he moved to Vienna, made his fortune. Yeah, so. he did. Boom. Love paprika. Paprika. That got smoky flavor. That's smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. and those are also delicious. Mmm. All right, All right Austria. Austria, you're doing pretty well. Two for two. Okay, what do we got here? Got some more Kelly's. Uh, yeah, snips. Let's find out what a snip is. Snips. So this says, when we first came across this yum, we had a few questions. First, why is there an American flag on the package? The answer takes us back 65 years after World War II, American soldier Howard Morse Kelly decided to stay in Austria to start a snack company with his business partner, Herbert Rask. Today, Kelly's is the top snack manufacturer in Austria, paying homage to their founder with his patriotic puffs. Okay. There you go. These are in the country's top three snacks, these snips. All right, let's see what this snip's Ooh. all about. They smell like peanuts. Yeah, they do. Okay, not my favorite. That is that is a peanut flavored chip. It's a little dry. It's a peanut flavored chip. So if you ever wanted to taste peanut and chip flavor, this is exact. This is a peanut and chip flavor or chip texture. Not my favorite. Dry. Oh like, yeah, like peanut. You know, like when you give your dog peanut butter on a spoon and you laugh at them because they're stuck. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. A little dry. All right, we're moving on. Well, we might as well do these. Just keep, they just keep calling to me on top there. All right. So Whew. those are going to be looking funky. They are. What the heck are they? I, I don't read Austrian, but I don't read Austrian. I'm guessing chocolate covered <laughs> strawberries. Dark chocolate coated strawberry mousse. Oh, mousse. All right. So, normally, chocolate-covered strawberries represent romance, but not these. Nope. These are all about risk. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, Hans Hausworth needed more space, so he took a huge gamble, moved his business to Austria, and started making these. All right, let's crack these bad boys. Ooh. That is a delightful dark chocolate smell. Cute little boogers, right? Oh, that's strawberry. So that they like things. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing my job. That's so excited about eating food. I've got to do my job. Chocolate! Mm. Mm. Do you taste strawberry? It's very like so. This is not very moussey. It's, like it's got like a little grit in there. Not grit. Mm. It's like coconut and it does not taste like strawberry, first of all. Dark chocolate, definitely. I don't taste strawberry. I'm not sure what it is that it tastes like. It's not bad. It's not really moussey either. It's like those, um, it's just... when you open um, candy, like a box of chocolates, and you're like poking them to find the caramels. This is like the jelly ones. Okay. All right. They're not horrible. They're not horrible. Okay. All right. Can we open the big banana? Uh oh, big banana. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, everybody. If you're just now tuning in, you're here at Creativity Corner. You're watching us open our monthly uh, loot crate of uh, Universal Yums. yums. Mm -hmm. We're opening September's box in October, but we're super excited. And so far, we've had a couple of delicious savories one, <coughs> peanut butter dry, and then like a pretty decent, okay ish. Wow. Chocolate, strawberry. So if I crack this open, it looks like a chocolate banana. Right. 
Okay, what am I supposed to say about this? All right, dark chocolate bar with banana mousse filling. Okay, so we're looking like mm -hmm. the, ooh. Ooh, that's got banana smell. That, I cracked it open down here and smelled the banana. Yeah, you need smell-o-vision, y'all. All right, so just get on that. Open up your nose. Smell that pineapple. Mm -hmm. No, banana. That banana. Anywho, let's try these. That's banana. Not banana. Okay, so same people who made the, the strawberry one. Mm -hmm. That's decent. If, if you see the big banana out there, pick it up and try it. You won't be mad. Unless you hate banana, and then don't do it. Oh, man. Let's take a break from the chocolate for a second. All right. All right. Glazed gingerbread with nuts. Ooh. Mm -hmm. so we got a little cookie here. So this is a soft gingerbread with hazelnuts, almonds, candied orange, and a sugar glaze. Mm -hmm. They, um, they, uh, Austrians eat it at holiday time. So. No, I lied to you. They eat it year round, and especially at holiday, holiday time. All right, I'm ready. All right. I need a little drink. Yeah, clear, Top that face. Clear, clear that palate. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? How's you, Jeff? This this lovely. I'm ready. Evening. All right, so soft gingerbread with hazelnuts, almonds, candied orange, and sugar glaze. All right. Oh. Mm. All right, I'm going to give it a go. That orange. Mm. Okay, it tastes like fruitcake. That's what it tastes like. Doesn't yeah. taste like gingerbread? Mm -hmm. It tastes like fruitcake. Mm -hmm. Like good fruitcake, not mm -hmm. like... You know, seven year old for okay. No. Mm, that's, that's, that's delicious. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, you can sneak a little more. No, nah, no, nah, I gotta keep keep the space. There's a lot of snacks still yeah, in here. Still got more snackies. Okay. Snack of fire. Um that is a lot of chocolate again. Oh, yeah. Chocolate break. Mmm. Well, we're eating chocolate. All right. friends apparently like chocolate. Wouldn't they? All right, well, let's do this. I don't know what that is, but let's do it. Right. It is a strawberry mm. cream filled wafer with chocolate. I know what these are going to be. Okay, in water. Austria, ananas, ananas, ananas is the word for a particular fruit. Can you guess which? Wait, what? Ananas is the word, an Austrian word for a particular fruit. Can you guess which? So my silliness would say banana. No. But I'm looking at the thing, so I'm guessing it's strawberry. Ananas actually refers to pineapple and strawberry. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Sherry, right now we are eating from the country of Austria. Yeah, we are. And we're digging it, except for those peanut butter things. Home of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Mozart. And Mozart. And the hills are alive. And apparently delicious candies. Ooh, that smells like yummy. All right. Very strawberry smelly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. It's way too good. That sucks. That's, that's what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Smells delicious. So if you see those, don't get them from Deborah. Mm -mm. She'll not be happy. My birthday's you. next week, too. I don't want that. Don't get her those. Okay. Okay. All right, what's next? Let's try again, Austria. So I'm having a hard time because right now I'm looking into this. I'm not saying my favorite thing. You are not. Um, so what he's looking for is the yum bag. Which has all the hard candies and squish jelly candies, and there's not one in this box, which is a little sad. That, that, that was an invisible teardrop. Yeah. Candy that could have been. 
Okay, so this is just chocolate. Thirty percent cacao. Cacao. So, um, chocolate came to Austria in 1606. It caused instant pandemonium. So much so that it was famously dubbed an inflamer of passions. Mm -hmm. Princess Anne of Austria had become so obsessed with chocolate that her wedding gift to her groom, King Louis VIII of France, was a chest filled with the finest cocoa concoctions money could buy. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay, let's give it a go. All right. Straight chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So apparently Sherry says, my mother gets these boxes and I always keep a garbage can in front of me when trying them. Mm. Usually we do pretty good. There was one country. Yeah, so we've been doing this for a year. A year now. October is a year. So technically not a year yet until we mm -hmm. do next week's box, but so and yeah, we haven't had to uh we kinda like, you know, spit one out here and there, but one we barfed. That was not good. There was this salty, weird, hard candy. Couldn't swallow it. All right. Uh nut Joe. It's hazelnut. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Casners. Mm-hmm. It's 1559. It is a hazelnut and chocolate filled cream wafer. So we just ate that strawberry cream wafer, which I was not a fan of. Give so let's little, see how we do with the nut hazelnut. Joy. Nope, not Joe. Ah. Not Joe. Anywho, I can't read the English well. How's everybody doing today? Okay. Hope you guys are enjoying the fall. Did oh, you dear. know that Vienna, Austria, uh, for 10 years straight has been ranked the number one city in the world for its quality of life? Huh. In addition to receiving perfect scores for healthcare, education, and infrastructure, it is a bustling cultural hub, home to incredible art museums and iconic me uh, music venues, and unbeatable cuisine. All right. So chocolate hazelnut wafer. Okay, not super fan of that either. The I wafer things are just. I don't think she likes wafers. Crap. Okay, thanks for that though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Woo! What's this? Let's eat. Let's eat the Bobby. So Bobby's actually, and it's got a little Bobby hat on whoa, there too. Whoa, whoa. So that would be like British, right? For police. Let's see. Bobby is milk chocolate with caramel nougat and crispy wheat rice. Okay, that sounds. Mm -hmm. Meet Count Bobby. That's the name of the dapper fella on this candy's wrapper. He is the subject of Austria's favorite jokes. No one knows who came up with the first Count Bobby jokes, but. Um, they're believed to be a way of poking fun at us Austrian elites. I can see him. So Count Bobby is a bumbling aristocrat, so he's not a police okay. officer. Sorry. So hence why I can see him and Mr. Planters being like homeboys. They're, they're part of that elite, elite snack group. You know, some monocles and a little mustache and... All right, milk chocolate, crunchy rice krispies, and a soft caramel filling. Sounds great to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's got the little krispies on it. <laughs> no! Hey, Mal. How's it going? Welcome to Great Tippy Corner. I'm jaded. The last two things I thought were going to be delicious disappointed me. Mmm, but that didn't. Mmm. 
All right, this is delicious. I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll be really yummy. So, mm -hmm. if you ever see Bobby, put him in your mouth. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Moving on. Oh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. All right, Mandel Ekin. All right. Got two more to go, folks. Once again, anybody tuning in now, we are trying our Universal Yums. Ah. And right now, we are trying snacks from Austria. Austria. All right. This is almond cream filled wafers coated in milk chocolate and almonds. All right. I'm going to give it a go, y'all. But the wafers so far, the strawberry ones and the hazelnut ones. This, this is a big old bag of wafers. Like, why couldn't it have been a big old bag of like? Big old bag of Bobby. I'm trying to drink, man. You want me to spit it out on the camera? Sorry, y'all. Okay. <laughs> He's not sorry. See? No. I, I'm the nice one. Right. Here you go, my love. All right. Come on, wafers. Just one good wafer. All right. Smells like marzipan. Ooh. Can we just smell marzipan? Smells like marzipan. For real taste. Alright, let's see. Hey. Oh. Okay. I thought it was gonna be crap. But if you keep chewing, that's good. Because when she first bit it, she tasted the wafer, which was established. You know, go. But that marzipan smell. It's a marzipan flavor. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, I'm not sad there's a big bag of those. All right. Universal yum. Ain't got no yum yum bag. What? Got the cool mint to end it off. This one might take you a minute. Well, like for me, I have a minute. All right. Cool mint. Lemon. So it's lemon peppermint patties with a chocolate coating. This says if you ever drank orange juice right after brushing your teeth, you probably learned the hard way that citrus and mint can be a recipe for disaster. Oh. Oh. So why are we going to eat this? Okay. However, apparently... The same guy that invented Pez candies invented these, and they're supposed to be delicious. Oh, no. the whole thing open. Definitely smell the mint. All right. Here's the brush of your teeth with uh, OJ in your mouth. I I already some more time. Yeah. Big bang. All right, last snacky. As far as the southwest, I'm paving this lane. The real thick sky, I first remember. I'm sick of being humble. I'm all legit. Yeah, I crossed the T's and dotted the I's. Um, so don't hate it, but don't love it either. Like, this is clear your sinus is minty. Mm -hmm. Like, whoo! But not that. Mm. Oh man! Every time I'm into the mint part, it's like I'm in the middle of brushing my teeth. Yeah, you are. Whew. Okay. Okay, that's that's right. <laughs> not a big fan, huh? All right, so let's see. What would what do we try? We had the cool mint lemon chocolate. We had the Bobby Count Bobby. That was that was pretty delicious. The Nut Joe, which is the hazelnut wafer. Okay. Not trying to influence his vote or anything, but that sucks. Okay. Straight up chocolate. Oh, that's the caramel wafer. Mm hmm. Yeah. The marzipan taste. Marzipan, super awesomeness. All right. Strawberry wafer. Crap. Okay. 
Crab delicious. Right. Oh, the gingerbread. That was delicious. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Peanut butter. Peanut butter snips. Peanut butter cardboard. Okay. Peanut butter cardboard. Paprika. Delicious smoked paprika chips. Okay. Chocolate covered strawberries. Big banana. And mini fritz. All right. What do you want to do first? Weirdest? We like doing weirdest. Yeah, so we got three categories. Weirdest. Worst. Second best. Best. So four categories. I can't count. But, so yeah, let's go with our weirdest. Weirdest. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to have to go with Cool Mint. Cool Mint Lemon. So all of these, I, I can say that I probably tasted in some way or another, minus the body, um, which was delicious. Mm -hmm. um, but just, yeah, the whole citrus and mint um, thing, it was like a York peppermint patty going awry. So then we're going to have to go with these guys. I am going to go with the weird little Mars band thingy. Smells like Mars band, tastes like Mars band. It's just weird. In a good way. Like, good. I'd eat these. Okay. So, weird little Mars band thingy. All right. Not Mars band. So, worse. The peanut butter cardboard. Uh, peanut butter cardboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double worse. Peanut butter cardboard. You don't, I'm you still do. probably going to eat them. Yeah, but, not a fan. But out of, out of everything here, which Austria. yeah thumbs up Austria Good stuff, I mean I don't Chinese. like the wafers I think they're crap but I could eat what? them if I had to right. those I don't I won't eat them. right like so yeah some of these places you, you try some of them and they're just like no this like I'd, I'd snack on any of this um, even even that but I'd need like some jelly or something that's was, that was straight peanut butter not a bad idea honey dip, dip maybe them, some honey dip them in honey all right, all right. Snacks for your snacks. Second best. Snacks and snacks and snacks. Second best, um, second best. Second best. This is a tough one. No, this is easy. I'm, I'm going to have to go. I might have to go with this guy. And we're going with the. Uh, Mm -hmm. the, the gingerbread with nuts. I think that's going to be my second. That's my second best as well. That right. gingerbread is delicious. Yeah, it is. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I'm not going to lie. It is Remember, hard. It tastes like fruitcake. It is hard picking uh, one second favorite um, because I, I think a lot of these, like the chips, I would want to put in a category. I would too. Because, uh, yeah, normally, like chips are okay. These, but those are, these, are delicious. these are delicious chips. Delicious. Um, Love them. So Kelly's not doing bad. Two out of three. Right? The American that stayed in Austria after World War II and turned into a snack guru. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is also my uh, number two. Tastes like fruitcake, but like good fruitcake. Right. Gingerbread, nuts, delicious. And a lot of orange zest. Okay, number one. Number one. All right, go. It's the same. I What's know the it's same? the same. It's Bobby. 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 Number one. This is Bobby. the most we've ever agreed. Yeah. Three out of four, we agreed this month. This never happens because he's usually wrong. So, um, Bobby, delicious. So good. Yeah. And Bar Bobby was the um, Rice Krispies chocolate and this yummy caramel in the middle. So good. Yeah, it was. Okay. So what did y'all think of Austria? Y'all gonna try some Austrian snacks? Definitely try Austrian snacks. And if not, at least check out Universal Yums. You can go to universalyums.com. Check them out. They have a six pack, a 12 pack, and a 24 mm -hmm. that you can get every month ordered straight to you. Yeah. We do not get paid for making that recommendation. No. We straight up buy this ourselves. We just love it. They're, 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 it's, it's an awesome, cool little thing. It's like, hey, I went to this store. I found this cool thing. You should try it out. And we look forward to That's doing this. That's what one of these are. So. So if you're into snackies, check them out. 
If not, thank you for checking us out. We're here mm -hmm. at Creativity Corner. Once again, we'll be streaming again live next week. Next Wednesday, next Wednesday. Halloween Eve, drinking a bottle of wine while yes. we're snacking. We're gonna. Mm -hmm. As part of my last 40 days of my 40s, we're going to drink my $150 bottle of wine that I've been saving. And just a little, you know, selfless plug, get your hats, your shirts, your necklaces, your mugs, all that. DominoWellPresents.shop. You can drink my husband's face, too. Yeah, you can. You just couldn't not say anything out for that one. <laughs> so, right. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. And remember, together we will do better. Why? For we are one. And we're out. Later. Gator. <laughs>